Hey everybody, we are going to delete these two cams right here and put in the new ones. First thing I want to do is turn on the visibility to the top. And I'm going to leave the sides off. So I'm just simply going to click on this cam, click on this cam, and click delete. Let's bring in, let's place the new ones on there. So I hit place, I bring in the hex cam, I need one of those, and then I hit place, and I bring in the snail cam. Now that we have the parts in here, we are going to line these parts up, and you want, as you can see on this one, you want a midplane going through the center vertically, and you also want a midplane going through here. So I already have that set up, and I'll show you how to do it on this one. It's the same way on both, actually. Select it, make sure that it's blue here in my case. I'm gonna right click and hit open. And then I want to go to origin and I'm gonna hover over one of those planes. Now I like to use the XY plane. If your XY plane doesn't go vertically through it, here's how you fix that. You open up your sketch one, so I'm gonna double click it, and you just make sure that your part is lined up on the origin. Okay. You can also see that mine has two dimensions needed, so I'm going to make sure that I get that done. So I do want that at 0.5, and I also want that at 0.75. And now I'm fully constrained, and the center of my hole, the center of my cam, is the origin there. So I'm going to finish the sketch. Now I'm going to right click, I'm going to open up that origin if you don't have it ready. I'm going to right click on the XZ and turn on visibility. I'm going to go here to the plane, click mid plane, click on one side, rotate it around, click on the other side, and you can see it's got it all done. I'll hit save just in case. Go back to my project and you can now see it's on there. So let's use our constraints and line these up with our followers. So I'm going to use just the mate constraint we've been using pretty much all year. I'm going to hover over the follower, click on that dotted line, and then click on that work plane. In my case, it says workplace plane one. And apply. I am then going to find the dotted line going through the camshaft. And then I'm going to find in my top view is my top part is in the way. So I'm going to actually start over by turning the visibility off there. Now I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna go mate, I'm gonna hover over the camshaft, find that dotted dash line, come here in the middle, find the dotted line, there it is, dotted dash line there, and it lines up, hit apply. I'm going to close that. And finally, I'm going to hit constraint, angle constraint, single angle constraint. I'm going to click on the work plane there, which is a mid plane. And I'm going to click on that work plane right there that lights up in, in white for me. Hit apply. And now you can see as, oh, it's locked. I'm going to delete, this is my angle constraint that I had with the previous project. I'm going to right click on that. It's that angle constraint with our crank and the back. I'm going to delete that just to make sure that when I spin it, it works. And then I'm going to add this snail cam to here. Work in the same way. I'm going to find the dotted line on the camshaft. I'm going to zoom in, find the dotted line at the center of the circle. Zoom out. Hit apply. I'm going to find the dotted line on, by hovering over it, finding the dotted line on the follower. And clicking on the work plane, the mid plane there. Hitting apply. And then finally the angle constraint here 
the angle, single angle constraint here. I'm going to go with the work plane on here and the work plane on my on my snail cam. Hit apply. And look at this. We're moving. The next thing we want to do is get these followers to attach to these cams. So if I hit constrain and I hit transitional, you want to click on the bottom of the follower first. And then you want to click on the top face of the cam. Hit apply. I'm going to do the same thing to this one right here. So I want to click on the bottom part of the follower. And then I want to click on the top part of the cam. Hit apply. All right, now hopefully this works, and it does. Look at that, all goes around. Now, if you will notice, the snail cam, the way I'm spinning it, the snail cam works correctly. If I change directions on the computer, it works. But in real life, what would our problem be as we come around and it goes here? Now you can take some measurements, since you have the ruler lined up right there. You can easily take some measurements of uh, this snail cam. We can hit angle, single angle. Click on here, click on the back panel. We can change this to 45 degrees. We can take a measurement there. We can then change this to 90 degrees. You can see the measurement changed a little bit. Now let's change it to 135, getting a little bit taller, 180, change it to 180, and then you can continue going from there.